Hi everyone. This week my focus is the importance of well-being in Hawura and Lemonwood Grove. And as you can see, I've chosen to present Sean's spot visually. One of our major areas we've developed school-wide since opening at the beginning of 2017 has been well-being. We often use the Māori term haora when talking about well-being. What exactly is well-being in haora? The World Health Organization definition is useful. Mental health is defined as a state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential, can cope with normal stresses in life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is also able to make a contribution to her or his community. As we know, people cannot function adequately unless their bodies are well. And on a personal level, this has become really obvious for me over the last few weeks. Why do we place an importance on well-being at Lemonwood Grove? The ethical responsibility of teachers, leaders and trustees is to consider, promote, balance and respond to all aspects of the student, including their physical, social, emotional, academic and spiritual needs. Because well-being in Hawara is also part of the health and physical education key area of learning in the New Zealand curriculum, these considerations require action across all curriculum areas, pastoral care, strategic priorities and teaching practices. To maximise the role that schools have in promoting and responding to student well-being, these systems, people and initiatives require a high level of school-wide coordination and cohesion. How have we gone about prioritising wellbeing and haora at Lemonwood Grove? At a governance level, our Board of Trustees understand the importance of wellbeing, haora and are currently, and currently it's one of our five strategic goals. At Lemonwood Grove, we not only focus on the well-being and haora of our learners, but also our staff and community. Many of the strategies we put into place serve the greater good of all our stakeholders. There are a number of practices we put into place to ensure our goal is being met. For example, regular learner and staff surveys. Data is collected and analysed and improvements are continually being made. What results are we seeing so far during our emerging journey? An understanding that we can always do better, a shared focus on improvement, recognising the need for a balanced focus on wellbeing and achievement, providing layers of support, systems, people and initiatives that wrap around our students making implicit school values explicit, and the use of restorative practices when working with our learners. A shared understanding that we want the best for our students is also an important dimension for us. Thank you.